On today's Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show, the Bucks make some moves over the bye week, adding two new quarterbacks. And after an 18-point loss in the second week of the season, the Bucks set sail for Massachusetts for a rematch with the Pirates. And you may know him as the Bismarck Bucks analyst. However, there's plenty more to learn about IFL Hall of Famer Robert Fuller. It's all coming up on the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show, which starts right now. Welcome inside our Beck Studios, everyone. I'm David Sugarman, and this is the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show. Following a 52-27 loss to Sioux Falls, Bismarck had a chance to recoup. The Bucks headed into their bye week 5-4 and, and right in the thick of the playoff race. Now back in Bismarck, the Bucks are feeling refreshed after a, mo a break that came at just the right moment. It was like the perfect time, to be honest. Like midway through the season, that's when like – the major aches start to come in, the knees, shoulders, and joints and stuff. So, like you said, it came at a perfect time. So, I, I took the big chance to uh, really recoup my body. Definitely did come at the right time because we kind of needed to figure out some things and fix some things. So, we had this bye week to, you know what I'm saying, because we're coming towards the end of the season. It's getting clutch time. So, we had the chance to, you know, figure out some pieces that we need to fix here. It's perfect. You know, coming off the loss, it was hard. We'd rather come off the, uh, with a win and then go into the bye week happy. But... It gave us a time, a week to refresh, kind of, you know, I haven't seen my family in a long time, so it kind of gave me a chance personally to refresh, get, you know, all the bumps and bruises gone and just kind of relax for a little bit and come back in with a, a stronger focus and a stronger uh, will. The Bucks may have had the week off, but the rest of the IFL did not. Great game between Massachusetts and Frisco. The Pirates take down the formerly undefeated fighters on a last-second field goal, 38-37. Duke City took down Northern Arizona, 52-38. And Arizona takes down Tucson, 54-38. So while the Bucks may have had the week off from the field, it doesn't mean the front office wasn't very busy. Over the bye week, the Bucks added not one, but two new quarterbacks. Quarterback Kelly Bryant made a name for himself as a Clemson Tiger. Bryant spent his first two seasons as a backup before leading the Tigers to an ACC championship and an appearance in the college football playoff in 2018, throwing for 13 touchdowns and over 2,800 yards that season. Bryant would end up finishing out his college career at Mizzou as recent number one pick and Jacksonville Jaguar quarterback Trevor Lawrence came to town and eventually took over the starting job. The Bucks weren't done there. They also added quarterback Caleb Lewis, who spent two seasons with the LSU Tigers before finishing his career with Robert Morris University in Pennsylvania. That gets us up to speed on the week that was. Next up for the Bucks is the Massachusetts Pirates. Massachusetts is one of the newest franchises in the IFL, and it may be the Bucks' first trip out east. However, it's not the first time they'll be taking on the Pirates this season. Let's fast. Let's rewind rather back to the second game of the year on May 8th. Bismarck hosting the Pirates. Bucks got off to a great start. 45-yard hookup between quarterback Glenn Couillette and wideout Raheem Harvey put the Bucks up 12 zip in the first quarter. Unfortunately, from there the Bucks ran out of steam. Bismarck was outscored 36 to six the rest of the way. Lost 36-18. Now that game being. Two months ago, Bismarck is confident. They aren't the same Bucks team that took the field that day. Looked over some things player-wise, personnel-wise, and, you know, just scheme-wise. And I think we, we came back, we came out with a stronger scheme. I mean, we, we've gelled a lot more. I mean, I mean, we've seen it, y'all seen it, everybody else seen it. Like, the way, the way that we playing, like, you can tell that we just, we're becoming more of a team. We can't wait for that matchup. Time for a quick break. When we come back, it's that time of the week. We'll sit down with the Bucks head coach, Rod Miller. Hey, Bucks fans. If you're planning an outing, birthday, or employee appreciation night, then bring your group out to the Buck Stop for a night of fast-paced, high-scoring football. Your group will receive discounted tickets, options for reserved seating, scoreboard messages, VIP services, swag, and a space to gather during the game. You can also participate in pre-game ceremonies, halftime entertainment, in-game contests, and more. Call 701-595-0771 or visit bismarckbucks.com forward slash tickets. All GA is first come, first serve. We'll see you on the turf. Go Bucks! 
Everybody needs an off-season, but our announcers have a tough time slowing down. Did you mind if I practice a little bit? Right, I don't really think that. Johnson holds, shoots, he scores! Incredible. For the second time today, Brent has jammed the printer. Lowry's third Carmel roll of the day. That's a bold move. And he drains one. Blind Squirrel finds a nut. And back to normal. Staying connected is more important than ever. And we're proud to have connected you when it mattered most. Whether it was working remotely at your new home office or providing cutting edge security and connectivity solutions or connecting you to your customers in new ways. More than ever, your local co-op is here for you. Choose local, choose Beck Connect. Indoor football is back at the event center and the Bismarck Buck season is right around the corner. The team will be fueled and ready to compete on game days thanks to our 2021 food sponsors. Dine with any of our supporting partners and get a free box ticket to any home game in the 2021 season. Great food and free football. Tickets are first come, first serve, so get yours now. Call 701-595-0771 for more ticket information. And go Bucks! Welcome back, everyone. As we are every week, we're delighted to be joined by the Bucks head coach, Rod Miller. Coach, thanks for joining us. Right, glad to be here as usual. Back to Coming off back-to-back -back road games, another on the horizon, really in the thick of the playoff race right now. How good was the timing of this bye week? Uh, you couldn't ask for perfect timing. You know, we, we needed this situation. We needed you know, a mental break as well as a physical break. Also a time to kind of regroup and look at things we need to do to try to get ready for the stretch run. So for us, it was an ideal time, a perfect time to get what we need to get accomplished so we can come back uh, refreshed, rejuvenated, and ready to make this stretch run. Two new additions to the quarterback room, former Clemson and Mizzou guy, Kelly Bryant, also a former LSU Tiger, and Caleb Lewis. Let's start with Bryant. What does he bring to the offense specifically? I mean, first and foremost, you know, he's a winner. He's been a winner since high school. He's been a winner in college. You know, he's a successful guy. He knows how to run a dual threat offense. You know, he brings, just brings that tenacity, that it factor. And that's what we're looking for uh, to get ready for the stretch. We're looking to improve the team uh, any way we can at any position. And fourth, luckily, he was fortunate to be available at this time. We made that move to get him here. And talking about Lewis, spent a couple years at LSU, but really made a name for himself at Robert Morris University. What does he bring to the table? We know what we think about him it brings to the table, like I said, he has the experience. He's also familiar with Coach Ross. He was with Coach Ross last year as his backup quarterback in Quad City before the season shut down. So having that someone come in that has a familiarity with his offense already, that he knows personally, and just to come in, like I said, he's, he's a gunslinger, and uh, he's a guy that can get the ball moving as well. So like I said, we're just looking to improve the team any way we can, and we felt that, you know, getting ready for the stretch run, we wanted to try to get three quarterbacks on the roster, and we are able to do that. A tweaked playoff format that this year, going the field, expanding from four to eight teams. You're right in the, in the middle of that race, seventh out of eight teams right now. As you head into that back half stretch, what is the biggest focus of things that need to improve if you guys are going to hold on to a playoff spot? You know, we just got to make sure we keep improving in all three phases, in offense, defense, special teams, not turning the ball over, not getting silly, silly penalties and mistakes, and just keep getting better. As long as we win out, uh, win games, we'll improve our situation. So, you know, we're just trying to, first of all, be in the playoffs, and if we can work our way into a fourth seed to get a home game, then we'll try to do that as well. But our mission right now is just to play and perform well each week, and like you say, take it week by week, game by week, game, and go 1-0 and each week. You go to Massachusetts next in your second game of the season, lost to the Pirates, 36-18, least amount of points you've scored this season. What has the offense done to get better since then? You know, they've just improved. They've jailed. they learned to play. Like I said, that was early in the season, and guys are still learning the system and still understanding the system. I think guys have gotten comfortable. I think we've made some moves, not just at the quarterback position, but also, you know, at the line position as well, and brought additional receivers. So we're doing things to put ourselves in that position to make stretch runs. So I think the team you'll see this week is going to be a lot different from the team you saw that game just based off of experience and factor of understanding the game. Pirates quarterback Alejandro Benefield had a big game that time around. Th five touchdowns, three passing, two running. How will the game plan look different now that you've seen him? You know, we just got to go ahead and prepare for him as well. You know, preparing for the first game, 
you know, he came in uh, as a backup from injury from the previous week. So when the starter was out, so we kind of game plan for uh, Mr. Brackett to be the quarterback, but it wasn't. But you still have to adjust. But now that we know what he can do, what he does best, you know, we have some things to try to uh, counter counter what he does and try to be effective in stopping him. So every team you play starts with the quarterback. So we'll just put a game plan together to try to limit what he can do and put us in a position to win the game. Just like you guys, most teams evolve from the second game of the season. Pirates now five and three. As you've watched them on film recently, what stands out that's different from the first go around? You know, they're just physically they're good up front on both sides of the ball, offensive line and defensive line. That's where it starts, and they have a very good line on both sides of the ball. So we got to make sure we protect our quarterbacks so they can make the plays they make, and we got to make sure that our defensive line can get through on their offensive line and get to their quarterback. So, you know, we're going to come out and expect them to be the same. They've improved, you know, with the team that they had, especially on the line of the front, and that's going to be our biggest fixture, to go out and make sure we can control their line. Coming out of the bye week, hoping to stay above 500, playoff race on the line. All that in coming into play, what's the code word of the week? Well, code word is routine. we got to get back to a good winning routine as well. And coming off a of bye week, we want to get back into a good routine, make sure that the guys are you know, eating well, conditioning well, we're practicing well, uh, we're doing our strength and conditioning treatment well over at Sanford Power. It's just a whole routine that we have to get back to and doing things the right way, the winning way, you know, and do things the buck way that we were doing early on. If we can get back to that routine, we'll be okay. The code word for the week is routine. Take that word to social media. Try and win yourself a VIP turf table at the Bucks' next home game. I promise you, eventually these guys are going to come back and play at the Bismarck Event Center. Just got to wait another week or two here. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Glad to be here as usual. We're going to take another break. When we come back, we'll learn a little bit more about our trusty Bismarck Bucks analyst, Robert Fuller. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show. Hey, Bucks fans. If you're planning an outing, birthday, or employee appreciation night, then bring your group out to the Buck Stop for a night of fast-paced, high-scoring football. Your group will receive discounted tickets, options for reserved seating, scoreboard messages, VIP services, swag, and a space to gather during the game. You can also participate in pre-game ceremonies, halftime entertainment, in-game contests, and more. Call 701-595-0771 or visit BismarckBucks.com forward slash tickets. All GA is first come, first serve. We'll see you on the turf. Go Bucks! Everybody needs an off-season. Laura announcers have a tough time slowing down. Did you mind if I practice a little bit? Right, I don't really think that. Johnson holds, shoots, he scores! Incredible. For the second time today, Brent has jammed the printer. Lowry's third Carmel roll of the day. That's a bold move. And he drains one. Blind squirrel finds a nut. And back to normal. Staying connected is more important than ever. And we're proud to have connected you when it mattered most. Whether it was working remotely at your new home office or providing cutting edge security and connectivity solutions or connecting you to your customers in new ways. More than ever, your local co-op is here for you. Choose local, choose Beck Connect. Indoor football is back at the event center and the Bismarck Bucks season is right around the corner. The team will be fueled and ready to compete on game days thanks to our 2021 food sponsors. Dine with any of our supporting partners and get a free Bucks ticket to any home game in the 2021 season. Great food and free football. Tickets are first come first serve so get yours now. Call 701-595-0771 for more ticket information and go Bucks! Welcome back to the show. It doesn't take long for most of us to leave our athletic prime post-college. However, for our 50-year-old Bucks analyst, Robert Fuller, he's just getting started. From former college football player and IFL Hall of Fame coach to high school assistant coach and even television analyst, Robert Fuller's worn many hats over the years. And before you put down that pen, you can add one more. Power lifter. I was at a period of time where, you know, I was managing the snap fitnesses in town, and the, the busier I got as a personal trainer, 
the worst shape that I got in, you know, and I was really looking for something to get involved in that would help me kind of focus and, and you know, have some, you know, just uh, a reason to train. And I ended up one day going through Dan's supermarket and I, I saw a Powerlifting USA magazine and I grabbed it, you know, um, read through it. And six weeks later, I was doing my first powerlifting meet and that was back in 2008. At last month's national tournament in Florida, Fuller finished third in his weight class, ranking him fourth in the world. At this point, it would be easy for Fuller to rest on his achievements. However, the journey that started in the pages of a stray magazine is far from over. I feel like the only goal that I have left is to represent my country at a world championship. So, you know, in 2019, I won a gold medal um, at the North American Championship. This year, I'm really blessed uh, with the opportunity to represent the Puerto Rican national team at the Pan American Games here in about seven weeks. So um, those opportunities to compete internationally are just really, really special. Um, and, and I'm making lifelong memories. In addition to his rigorous training, Fuller dedicates his time as an assistant coach with the Bismarck High football team and helps countless demons improve their strength training in the weight room. And like all of his present duties, Fuller does it with an unmatched passion. Being able to work for Coach Gibson and be a part of his staff is just really special. And it was, it, it's been a great transition from you know, the IFL sidelines, you know, to being on the sidelines at BHS and just basically being able to see what one of the most historic, you know, high school programs in the state of North Dakota is like and how it's run. Despite being 50 years old and top five in the world in his craft, Fuller continues to reach for new heights with some of his motivation coming from the fact that he's not just doing it for himself. It also affords me the opportunity to be a role model for the kids that I work with and to show them that, you know, age is just a number. Um, if you want something bad enough, you just got to put in the work and it, it's a pretty good chance it's going to happen. And then also I compete as a drug free athlete and I want our kids to see that you can achieve, you know, you can achieve some great numbers. You could do some things in the strength game or any type of sport um, that requires athletic performance. Um, you could do it drug free. Big thanks to Robert, and I certainly have some inspiration on my next leg day. Appreciate that. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, it's time for another hurry up offense. Hey, Bucks fans. If you're planning an outing, birthday, or employee appreciation night, then bring your group out to the Buck Stop for a night of fast-paced, high-scoring football. Your group will receive discounted tickets, options for reserved seating, scoreboard messages, VIP services, swag, and a space to gather during the game. You can also participate in pre-game ceremonies, halftime entertainment, in-game contests, and more. Call 701-595-0771 or visit BismarckBucks.com forward slash tickets. All GA is first come, first serve. We'll see you on the turf. Go Bucks. Everybody needs an off-season, but our announcers have a tough time slowing down. Did you mind if I have to practice a little bit? Right, I don't really think that. Johnson right. holds, shoots, he scores! Incredible. For the second time today, Brent has jammed the printer. Lowry's third Carmel roll of the day. That's a bold move. And he drains one. Blind squirrel finds a nut. And back to normal. Staying connected is more important than ever. And we're proud to have connected you when it mattered most. Whether it was working remotely at your new home office or providing cutting edge security and connectivity solutions or connecting you to your customers in new ways. More than ever, your local co-op is here for you. Choose local, choose Beck Connect. Indoor football is back at the event center and the Bismarck Bucks season is right around the corner. The team will be fueled and ready to compete on game days thanks to our 2021 food sponsors. Dine with any of our supporting partners and get a free box ticket to any home game in the 2021 season. Great food and free football. Tickets are first come first serve so get yours now. Call 701-595-0771 for more ticket information and go Bucks!
Welcome back, everybody. It's that time of the week. Another session of Hurry Up Offense. This week, we're talking with defensive line coach Dave Brummagen. Coach, we've got some rapid fire questions for you. Going to find out a little bit more about you. Think your game? Sure, let's do it. All right, let's get going. I appreciate right. the excitement. First All things right. first, favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Vanilla. It's rapid fire. We got to yeah. go a little bit better Vanilla. than that, coach. Yeah, yeah. Hometown. Hometown, Hudson Falls, New York. Hudson Falls, New York. Okay, New Jersey guy myself. All right. A relation right there. Right. Uh, favorite movie? Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans, another good football movie. We had a couple guys say that Denzel Washington would play them in the movie about their life. I assume you're not going to go in that direction, but who no. would play you in the movie about your life? Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott, I like that. Yeah. Who, um, what is your favorite thing about coaching in the IFL? Teaching and coaching and mentoring the players, uh, watching them grow, watching them develop as they keep, you know, as, as practices progress, they learn, they grow, and they develop. And that's the most satisfying thing to me is that, you know, just being able to teach and coach at the same time. What would you be doing if you weren't coaching and teaching in football? I would be farming. A lot of that around here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Favorite yeah. IFL city to visit other than Bismarck? Uh, Green Bay. Green Bay? Yeah. All right. Can't make a bad choice on that one. This has been another Hurry Up Offense edition with defensive line coach Dave Brummagen. Thanks so much, coach. Thank you. Huge thanks to Coach Brummagen for helping us out this week. Now, that awesome time of the week where we get to give away some free stuff. Our Coach's Code Word winner for this week is Daniel Schomer. Daniel, congratulations. We'll be getting in touch with you very soon for that VIP turf table at the Bucks' next home game. I promise you, I know they've been on the road for about a month here, but the Bucks are coming back home soon. If you want to be like Daniel, only a couple of home games left and get a chance to win that VIP turf table, listen up to Coach's Code Word for the week. It is Routine, getting back in the routine, coming off the bye week, new additions coming into the roster, a couple guys just trying to get back from injury, getting back, a couple guys were nicked up, everyone's just trying to get back into the routine, so take that word to social media, Bismarck Bucks Football on Facebook, at Bismarck Bucks on Twitter, and at Bismarck underscore Bucks on Instagram. Like we said, the chances for that VIP turf table are running out, so you're going to want to pay attention. We got Coach coming on the air every single Wednesday night at 6.30. We're talking all things Bucks, getting you ready for the game ahead, talking about the game it was, and giving you that code word, that key word, to let you know how to win some free stuff every Wednesday at 6.30. Before we go, let's take a quick look at the Bucks' upcoming schedule. Coming off the bye, going to Massachusetts this week. That's a 7.05 kickoff. And then finally, for the first time in over a month, the Bucks will be back home Friday, July 16th at 6.05 p.m. They'll take on the Frisco Fighters for the first time this season. And then another first matchup, they'll take on the Tucson Sugar Skulls the very next week. That will be on the road in Arizona. That's a 6.05 kickoff. Then they'll be home for the fourth time this season. They'll take on the Green Bay Blizzard before rounding out the regular season with the Iowa Barnstormers and the Duke City Gladiators. You may notice that there's a gap there between August 7th and August 21st. That is not by, that is not a mistake because of Louisville being kicked out of the league. Every, uh, several teams had to drop a game from their schedule, including the Bucks. The Bucks dropped their second to last game against the Sioux Falls Storm. So they'll get a, a, an extra bye week of sorts in between August 7th and August 21st. That's going to do it for this week's show. For our entire Beck News and Beck Sports crew, our director, Luke Tibor, producer Cole Gendero. I'm David Sugarman. It's the Bucks and the Pirates. Bucks coming off the bye week, looking to stay above 500 and looking for some revenge against Massachusetts. This Saturday night, we'll have it for you right here on Beck Sports. Until then, I'm David Sugarman wishing you a safe week.